the floor of the CME Group. This is Thursday, September 16th. We're coming back from the future, back from the time warp from yesterday of August 15th. Right, Dan? <laughs> anyway, yesterday I had to leave early and I gave a chart out to these guys that I, would, I had put on the show. And I'm here today to kind of explain what this chart means because I'm calling it an ascending right triangle, which finally is convincing me that this bullish move is going to happen, but it hasn't confirmed itself yet. The markets are showing bullishness, but I would like a time to explain this chart, and I'm going to have it right here, and give me a couple quick seconds, and I'll go through this quickly. Okay, here, in early February, the futures made the year lows. It followed with late in April, the year highs here. Now, I'm pointing to the December contract because the futures trade in quarters. And I had to get back to the cash a little bit later, right after this, because right now DEES is the lead month. So when the DEES made the year high up here in late April, it came back down and started pounding away back to year lows, but failing, failing. So this is the key to this formation. June 21st, we made a high of 11.2290 in the December contract. It followed shortly all the way down here to year lows at 11. 1060 okay this followed with another attempt all the way in August for a week a triple top and the December contract only got to 112180 it proceeded to come back down at the end of August and triple bottom making a low of 33 even and that's 1133 even right nope that's 1033 even my mistake anyway since then, Monday this week, we saw a high of 11.2230. It failed at 22.90, which is now key. So what's going on is this right angle formation has an underlying interest of an ascending daily, on a daily basis, trend line. The possibilities does exist to have this come back down and test this trend line as the days go by. A violation of this trend line followed by a move below 1033 even negates this, okay? So now let's get back to the chase. If this future can go above 112290, it should trigger stops and see immediate movement up to 3590 to an objective of 4810 and then maybe beyond. But those would be two quick initial objectives. But the key to the whole success is the cash. The cash doesn't trade in quarters. They don't have DEECE, SEP, March, June, etc. It's a main constant. So when that cash high that was made on June 21st at 1131.23 and the year cash low was followed, it needs to confirm the future. If the future goes above 2290 and the cash fails at 3123, watch out, head fake. But if the cash goes 113123 and so on, that will activate buy programs into this market and off to the races. And like I said, first stop 3590, next stop is 4810. That's what Tot Notch is looking for overall on that initial move. It remains to be seen. Overall, I don't think it's going to happen quite yet. This is the last day of the roll, and it's been a chug, a churning roll. Maybe 30,000 contracts a day are being spread out of the whole idea. And it's a shame because back in the heyday, they used to do a lot, a lot more. Right now, there's about 137,000 open interest left in the September. So it could go out with about 100,000 100, expiration. It remains to be seen. Today is the last day the big contract trades in, in the September and all the futures of this indices and uh, equity uh, products. But the mini trades to 815 tomorrow, so you'll be able to get out of your positions if you get caught. And if you want to roll a little bit more, Good luck and good trading. See you tomorrow.